Hi guys, it's Kelly from Cards by Christine here with you on a Monday, wait, Thursday, <laughs> Paper Pumpkin Night. Um, throwing me off my game. Normally we do this on a Monday night, but I am playing substitute teacher for Chris, who is in New Orleans for backstage. So excited. Um, can't wait to keep up with her on what she's got going on. So, let's see here. I saw the live notification. Now I just need to find the video. Man. So, do you remember last month when I made that Halloween-inspired card out of the, like, nautical set? Yeah, so we're going to do something like that again. Not at all, like, the same card or anything. But um, I was ill-prepared for that, and I am less prepared for this week, month's alternatives. So, buckle up. It's going to be a fun ride. I'm just looking for a post-it note somewhere. There's got to be one somewhere around. Um, so, don't mind me. Just wondering. So, anyways, I hope everyone is having a wonderful Thursday. We've got the weekend coming knocking on our door. Hello, Karen. Thank you for tuning in. Um, it is nearly back to school time. We have one school in the area that's back to school. Hello, Sandy and Cindy and Elaine and Jennifer. Um, my kiddo goes back to school on Monday. It like feels crazy to say that. Like I don't feel like I'm in that season of light, life yet but I am and that's just crazy um but yeah so he is back to school on Monday we had orientation night tonight um so I am missing most of it but I got to drop his stuff off at school with him and um see his classroom it's the same classroom he was in last year with the same teacher um but he has he goes to a small little catholic school by our house and like it's literally less than a mile from our house it's amazing and so they have church after and then a little social so he's gonna do that with grandma tonight and I think grandpa and brother Jakey are going to join as well so that's um why I'm so utterly ill prepared for the alternative it I I got nothing I don't I don't even have a clue what it's gonna look like yet so I haven't even peeked in the box so we are just gonna absolutely unequivocally wing it is what I got so let's see here hello Kathy Donna Mary um also Jamie Lynn Vera Pat Carolyn and Sherry thank you so much for sharing everyone we really appreciate it you know that everyone out there wants to have a dose of this kooky crazy craftingness um <laughs> that's why we share so yeah anyways I and I didn't eat I'm just like I'm a ball of just <laughs> craziness going on right now so yeah so anyone have anything fun or exciting to share with the crew hopefully you guys are all doing well I can't believe it's been a month since I've been in here um, obviously I get in every once in a while to do technique Thursday not typically live. I've had a couple lives recently for my Technique Thursdays, but um, typically I pre-record them. Um, so I get that interaction with you guys and you see me every week. Um, but yeah, so here we are back again. Whoa, Feline, that is good timing. Two hours ago, your paper pumpkin showed up. Fresh off the racks. Hi, Cheryl. Hello, Susan. Hi, Anne. Thanks, and so I wondered what I should wear tonight because I don't like, it truly doesn't matter, but I don't like when I wear a shirt that like most of the stuff gets cut off and I know that it cuts off um, around here-ish. And I was like, this is the perfect shirt to wear for Paper Pumpkin. So, or I could have wore a sunflower. I don't think I have a sunflower shirt. This kit, I've seen a peak of it, is amazing. So if you haven't seen it, like buckle up. Hello, Bonnie and Donna and Melissa and Karen. Thank you so much for joining. I'm going to check if we have some water because I am like babbling and oh my goodness, I am not going to last if, <laughs> if I keep this up. 
Caught Technique Thursday. Hello, Hannah. Oh, speaking of which, I need to take a picture of that card. So I will show it off. Um, someone commented that it was kind of difficult to see in the video, and I agree. Um, it wasn't the easy, you know, sometimes the lighting doesn't do the best job. Where did it go? I'm going to go grab it because I'm not seeing it. So I was going to take a picture to share, hopefully that it would be easier to see. Oh, hello, um, Deborah and Feline. I haven't seen an add-on yet. Um, I would love, I hope that there is. If there is, I think they're gonna go like hot kicks, like, so buckle up. Um, yeah, haven't seen it yet. But Okay, Anne said that they wish they had refills, but Stampin' Up! confirmed that there are not. So, bummer. <laughs> I think they are getting an overwhelmingly positive, um, excuse me, feedback on how great this kit was. Like, I literally saw someone stay, say that um, they have been a paper pack, Paper Pumpkin subscriber since Paper Pumpkin existed, and this is the best kit they've ever seen. So, like, holy man, I haven't actually seen the kit yet. I did see one sneak, so I've got, like, a halfway decent idea of what's in there, but it is beautiful. So, um, there's that. Okay, so here is the Technique Thursday card, and as you can tell, um, it is very difficult to see those score marks. Much more prevalent, like, in person, which is good, because obviously that's what really matters, but to try to show this off. So I completely empathize with whomever said, like, it was hard to see in the video. So I'm going to try to take a picture. Hopefully I can um, get the lighting to catch it a little better on the picture um, to show that off. But, yeah. So, Jamie, I am so excited that this is your first Paper Pumpkin, like, way to sign up at, like, the perfect right time. So, all right, speaking of, I am going to share with you who is participating with Paper Pumpkin with us tonight. If you are here, announce yourself um, and we will welcome you and I will do a drawing at the end of one of these lucky ladies will get a prize. So, we have Lynn Beasley, Patricia Thomas, Jamie Shipman, Amy Ponce, Jolene Shry, Cindy Entringer, Mary Scott, Tracy Gruby, Sherry Stewart, Stacy Burns, Terry Costin, Mary Schneider, Sherry Meyer, ooh, those are like opposites, Chris Dudaranke, Lori Kaiser, Marge Haas, Brenda Crudwig, Elaine Rebeck, Patricia Williger, Judy Bobo, Deborah Schultz, Helen Voigt, Patty Robinson, Betty Pyle, Joanne McDonald, and Deborah Ryan. So all of those lovely ladies signed up to do Paper Pumpkin through Chris. So thank you for the support. Um, I hope you got your kit. And if you did, I hope you are stamping along with us tonight. So let's crack it open and see what we've got. Sweet Sunflowers is the name of this kit. Hi, Lynn. We are excited to have you. Oh, this plastic is kicking my butt. Okay, so that is recyclable. All right, so as you can tell just from the start, this is going to just be beautiful. Well, if you like flowers and if you um, like the watercolor look, if that's not your thing, I mean, obviously it's not for everyone. Um, so here we go. Oh, little. Okay, make the most of your free gift. So here we have, um, free with this kit, there are gold foil honeycomb sheets. There are five of them, maybe? Looks like five or six. Oh no, Hannah, I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully it is coming very soon. Follow these easy steps to make this sample. 
use the green card base. Oh, so this is an alternative idea with um, one of the supplies that are in here. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that, Carla. I hope you feel better soon. Okay, and then an advertisement on the reverse side. It says holiday crafting is coming to town. So here we've got the September kit and then October and November. So the October kit, excuse me, the September kit, which is prior to October, so they always do Halloween then, um, is, I think they said 18 treat tags. So that's for like trick-or-treating snacks. Um, it's got this purpley inspired look to it. You can check out the paper pumpkin cover photo if you want a sneak peek of what may or may not be included. I remember it was a lot of purpley, a little bit of black and white, and it, they showed a ghost stamp. So that's a preview of what's coming in September. And then October and November are both holiday themed. Haven't gotten any um, peaks of it yet, but um, they did say one of them's gonna be cards and one of them is going to be tags. So keep that in mind. So that's what's coming. Ooh, we got two spots this time. We have crushed curry and soft suede. Then we have these beautiful sunflower stamps, a couple sentiments as well. Thank you. Wishing you so much happiness for a one of a kind friend and hello. Um, and then there's a couple little bees, super cute. And beautiful yellow wrapping. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious, you guys. Look at the envelopes. Like, took my breath away. I love repurposing envelopes, so I have a sneaking suspicion that that's what I'm going to do for the alternative. So let's grab our glue scissor and get this cracked open. Okay. All right, so we've got glue dots and dimensionals, like always, so great that they include all of the supplies that you need to make the kits. Um, and that we get, da, 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 lost my train of thought there. Um, so that includes the dimensionals and the stamps. I just can't wait. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so we've got, ooh, it looks like, oh, all of the envelopes are the same. Two, four, six, eight, nine. So maybe three each of three designs. Blank on the inside, but look at that outside. Oh my Lanta. Hello, Julie. You actually have ah, a substitute teacher tonight. My name is Kelly. I'm Chris's cousin. Um, so Chris might be watching along. She flew out at five this morning. So she had quite um, an early morning. So I don't know exactly what she's up to, but maybe she always tries to tune in and say hi to everyone. All right. Beautiful, intricate die cut piece there. And then we've got some card bases. Oops, oh my goodness. It just keeps getting better and better and better. Okay, so here's one of the card bases. Oh my God. You guys, I can't even. And then here's the um, green wash, which is what they show here um, for one of their alternative ideas. Okay, then we've got, oh my goodness. Okay, some greenery, some sunflowers, a bunch of baby bees, and then some vellum honeycomb pieces. We've got a piece of cards, cardboard, and then our instructions. You guys, I am like busting at the seams. This is such a great kit. Like. I agree with all the hype that everyone's been giving it. So let's show some love for the kit and we're gonna dive in. And I've got actually like a ton of alternative ideas already like just swirling in there. So we'll see what we pull together. <laughs> okay, I need to start with some water. That's first and foremost. Oh 
Okay, so instruction sheet um, on the back always shows the kit contents. Kit contains supplies for nine cards and nine envelopes. Um, a very interesting um, thing that I always try to reference is um, they tell you the coordinating Stampin' Up! color. So that is really helpful when working with alternatives because then you know what color cardstock to bring in or um, kind of what stuff to look for. So we've got Blackberry Bliss Crushed Curry Evening Evergreen Melon Mambo Mossy Meadow Night of Navy Pumpkin Pie and Soft Suede are what we're working with. And then they always give a couple alternative ideas and then um, information about where to find more to do with the kit. Alrighty, so let's get started with First, the green card. All right, so for the green card, hello, Becky from Winnicani. We are going to start with the green base, one of these beautiful, intricately um, laser cut pieces. Like, that is just stunning, beyond stunning. Okay, let's, I need to kind of make some things make sense over here. All right, then we need one banner piece. So it's this one. So they give you four of each of the uh, die cut banners. So one extra for any mistakes that may happen. And then two buzzy, buzzy bees. I hope they gave us a bunch of these extra bees because they're so cute. And all the bees appear to be the same. Well, it looks like some are flying left and some are flying right. So, if that matters. I don't know, maybe they're all the same. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> all right. I personally, and you'll hear this every time if you're a frequent subscriber to these things. I personally always bring in my own stamp pad and supplies. Now, if you are a paper pumpkin subscriber, you do get everything you need, including the block, the block that comes with, um, you get in your first kit. And it's just a little different than the blocks that Stampin' Up! sells. They're thinner, I'm trying to grab one. They're thinner than the black that Stampin' Up! sells. And the main difference is that it doesn't have the rounded edges. So for my own comfort and stability in stamping, I like to use my own D black, but the black that comes with is perfectly fine. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. If you do not have your own stamping supplies, don't feel as though using it is in any way, shape or form going to affect how your cards turn out. And that's just the same with using your own. Um, there are two different bees. Okay, so I thought so, and then I double guessed myself. Um, but it won't affect your outcome. Again, same with the Stampin' Spots because there's nothing wrong with using these. The major difference here is these are foam pads and these are the um, fabric pads. They stamp just a little differently as in like how you ink them but there really is no difference in how the output looks. Um, but again, just for my own ease of use, because I do have the supplies, that is why I am bringing in my own. Okay, so soft suede here, and it's for a one-of-a-kind friend. Hello, Millie. Thank you so much for joining. Okay, so ink that bad boy up. And then center it on your little banner thing here. Or, yeah, whatever we want to call it. There's one spot that just is not inking very well. Um, what I should have done is usually before you use... There's like a hair on here. Before you use a photopolymer stamp, it's good to stamp it onto just a like scrap piece of paper. So let's see how that did. Um, to kind of get any of the debris off of it. It didn't do horrible, but could have been better. So I'm going to try to remember to stamp the photopolymer off on a different sheet beforehand for the next one. But 
It is what it is. All right, get that cleaned up. Turn your um, stamp pad over so that it doesn't get any extra ink anywhere. And then, um, another pro tip. I always like to put my stamp back because they have a mind of their own and always seem to walk off or get stuck onto something that you don't want it stuck to. So pro tip there. Okay, one of my favorite things about Paper Pumpkin and the Paper Pumpkin description um, instructions, excuse me, I love how they show you exactly where they suggest you put the adhesives the embellishments, the ribbon, if there is ribbon, it's just a suggestion. So the black dots are glue dots and the white hexagons are dimensionals. You obviously can put them wherever you want, but they do give a great suggestion, which is wonderful. I do like to bring in my liquid glue. So again, that's a preference thing. Um, and because I have the supplies, I do use them. Um, but you absolutely can get by with using the glue dots. So I'm just going to bring a little bit of liquid glue on the back here. And then I'm going to center it on, I should have used my bone folder first. So if you are stamping along with me, I suggest you use your bone folder before you get your glue out. Um, but anyways, go ahead and burnish that down and then flip your piece on and adhere it to the front. Hello, Gwen and Kathy. Okay, so with liquid glue, um, you do like to give it a little firm pressure for maybe about 10 seconds. And then we've got dimensionals behind our banner and our baby bees. So go ahead and put a couple dimensionals on the back of that guy. And then on the baby bees. I agree, Millie, these are beautiful and so far very, very simple. Okay, so this guy goes roughly here-ish. Um, I'm going to, just for kicks and giggles, grab... Uh-oh, I lost one of my baby bees. Just a second, my friends. Okay, I'm going to grab a soft suede. I don't know if I should do a marker or a blend. I think I'm going to do a marker. And before I stick this down, I'm going to draw along the edges. So I'm going to lay this back down here. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. You do get the shadow, which is exager exasperated by, exaggerated, there we go, by my light here. Um, so you still can see that, but it is tone on tone of the same thing. So I'm just going to kind of outline that to give it a little bit more definition. Hi, Marsha. Sorry to hear that you're in the hospital. I hope you're doing okay. Thank you so much for joining, Doris. Just kicking off the first card here. Already improvising. Okay, so let's just... This is completely optional. Definitely not in the steps. So... Do as you please if you're interested in doing the same as I am. I see no reason why you couldn't use a blend here as well. And it's just going to give a little bit more definition. And that's all I'm going for. Okay, so just carefully drawing along the edge with the tip of the marker. Alrighty, so very subtle. That is exactly what I was going for. So then just going to stick that on, grab my two Bs and put a dimensional on each. Loretta, I forgot to mention that at the beginning. Chris had, I don't remember how many, maybe five or six extras, but they were gone instantaneously. Um, she said she probably could have had 
15 or 20 extras and sold them all. So unfortunately, not this time. Great question. Um, typically, we do have extras, um, but they are all gone. Thanks for joining, Linda. Okay, so then this last one is actually on top of the banner the banner layer. So if you don't like having um, it quite that thick, I see no problem with mailing that, but it is a double stack. So you can definitely just put it on the back. I am also going to slide an extra one behind the banner in that spot so that it's easier, so that it doesn't just kind of like wobble here. Okay, so there we go. That is our first card. All right, I am just going to put that off to the side. Next, we are moving on to card number two is this beautiful watercolor card. Okay, let's bring in the card base. Wow, so pretty. Okay, this time I'm gonna start by burnishing it right away. Doris, someone informed me earlier that Stampin' Up! announced that they are not going to have refills for this one. So big bummer. Who knows, maybe if they get enough request, they may consider doing it, but I kind of doubt with all of the like supply chain issues. I'm guessing if they could have, they would have. But as of right now, there is not going to be a refill kit. Okay, so we're punching out one of the um, honeycombs and then one of the like Blackberry Bliss ribbon pieces and then the long and skinny kind of blue tone. Yeah, I think if they had refills, they would sell tons and tons and tons of them. Okay, then two more bees. And as you can see here, there are, so this one has the eye portion on the right and this one has the eye portion on the left. So good eye, um, I think it was Jeannie, whomever pointed out that there are two different ones. Okay, so wishing you so much happiness. Let's bring this in. We've got, I don't want that to get crushed. Soft suede. Okay, my stamps are over here. Wishing, okay, so this, it's sometimes hard to hear or read upside down and backwards what the stamps say. Okay, so now I'm just going to, no ink, I'm just going to stamp, see if there's any debris that um, would get off of there. And then my piece to stamp is under here, silly, silly. For this one, they are stamping with the blue side off to the left. Let's ink it up and stamp it down. Wishing you so much happiness. Beautiful. Okay, let's get our cleanup together. Whoa. Yes, absolutely, Doris. I agree. I am going to cut these apart um, so that you can cut them down, mat them, and put them on a cardstock base. I agree. So we always do one set of cards exactly like you would from the box. Um, but that's definitely percolating in my mind for my alternative. 
I agree, Pat. I bet you they are overwhelmed by the response and um, hopefully that influences their future lineups. Okay, so now we are going to adhere with either liquid glue or your adhesive of choice. You can definitely use the um, glue dots that come with the kit. Hello, Hilda Nell. Ha ha. Um, I betcha the vellum would have gone first, but it doesn't matter because you won't see it hanging out anyways. So just a little bit of adhesive on some of these honeycombs. All right, and then if you are following how they have it, it goes roughly here-ish made a glue mess it's okay because it's going to be behind the banner um, but just wanted to point that out okay then again we have dimensionals behind the sentiment and on the little baby bees all righty Okay, so let's take the backs off of these dimensionals. Put the sentiment on first. And again, before I stick it down, I think I'm just gonna go around with that marker. It truly is not necessary, but it just does give that little bit of definition between the layers, so. Throwing in a little bonus here. So bear with me as I do that. Okay. That is a great idea, Cindy. So when they switched the kits to being not in the catalog um, because they were kind of rotating them, they switched them to be like an online only type of thing. Um, that was probably maybe two catalog rounds ago. They started bringing in um, past paper pumpkins as some kits and I would not be surprised if they did that again with this kit. Hi, Cheryl. Thank you so much for joining. Okay, so two Bs. We've got one B down here and one B up here. Boom. Beautiful. Two down. Okay. Let's move on to our last kit before we get creative. Fingers crossed. Let's hope, right? Okay, so now we need a sunflower. We need the foliage piece. And then, see I have a piece here that's not quite cut through. So there's a little bit, I'm going to fussy cut. I don't know if I should. Uh, but this little piece is not supposed to be in there. Um, let me check. Yeah, you do see it. No, you don't. Yeah, you'd see it. So I'm gonna fussy cut just a little bit. I don't love fussy cutting, but I don't hate it either. So this little brown part technically is supposed to be cut out and it wasn't and that's fine. Um, but I'm going to cut that out now. Okay, so yours may or may not have that as well. Okay, so that piece, and then I need the more pinky yellowish banner for stamping and another of the honeycomb vellum. Alrighty. There are no extras of the honeycomb vellum, ooh. <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, so it is awesome. Um, the customer support team definitely cares about what the customers think. Um, so I know Chris has had some conversations and has taken some surveys and stuff with the customer care team. Um, so hopefully we get our, we get what we want. Okay, so thank you goes on this little banner. Okay, so that one's up here. And then the pieces of the sunflower go on the sunflower piece. Haha, <laughs> that was a funny sentence. Okay, so I'm gonna again just stamp a little bit. That's okay, there's nothing that's gonna come off because it has literally never been inked before. But thank you here. And then clean that bad boy off. Then the pieces of the sunflower. So it looks like their suggestion at the very least is to stamp the middle first, and that is in the soft suede that we have open. So let's try it. Stamp the middle in the middle, but how do you know exactly where the middle is? I guess you just kind of guess. I'm a little apprehensive. I feel like I maybe would have done the yellow first, but following their lead so we can all learn from my mistakes if it doesn't go as planned. So roughly in the middle, we'll call that good. And then close that one up. Then we've got crushed curry. Now, I'm thinking this lines up at least somewhat. <laughs> I would do the flower first. I agree. I just, I think it's going to be a little challenge here, but we'll see. Maybe they know what they're talking about. I'm just not seeing it. Okay, so I'm thinking this lines up somewhere. Let's see if there's any really distinguishing parts. gonna keep turning until the pieces match and maybe it doesn't I don't know found it no mm. all right has anyone done this yet does it match up this matches up like 90% of the way so I'm gonna call it good okay maybe not 90% that might have been an overstretch okay so stamp it down and then rotate it. See now, here's where. <sighs> okay, so that's pretty good. Not great, but definitely you see where my center could have been a little different. Also, I'm not perfectly on, but I think the point here is to get the texture. So like, it's good enough. <laughs> If I were to do it again, I would overrule the um, instructions and I would personally do the yellow first and follow up with the brown. So, pro tip. All right, so our flower is done. Then we just need to start doing some adhesive and we are just about done with this thing. Oh my gosh, I lined it up perfectly on there. <laughs> it does match up. Okay, so I think I was close, but maybe, yeah, maybe if I would have stamped it on a little less crooked, I don't know. Also, I should have definitely put a piece of scrap paper on my piercing mat. You guys, I'm an amateur. <laughs> Oops. Okay. 
Let's see here. Now that we've got our stamping done, next we've got, oh, I didn't even bring the card base in yet. You guys, I've noticed in the last like 15 minutes that I'm getting hungry. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so let's fold this. Hi, Cynthia. Thank you so much for joining. I, oh, from West Virginia. Yes, catch the replay from the beginning. We're just about done going through. This is the third of three paper pumpkin cards. Um, if you want to stick around, or at least you will see in the replay, we do an alternative every time. Hi, I'm Kelly. Um, I'm actually Christine from Cards by Christine's cousin, um, but I help her with a lot of stuff. You'll see her every, you'll see me every Thursday for Technique Thursday and once a month for Paper Pumpkin. And then sometimes I'll jump in a couple other times as well for like substituting or for game night and stuff like that. So nice to meet you. Um, please like our page and you'll meet Christine as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go grab something quick and I'll be right back. Okay. I grabbed a snack. <laughs> okay. So we've got adhesive on. <laughs> oh, this piece is very delicate. Okay. So. You can either use the um, glue dots that they give, or of course, I'm gonna go ahead and use my liquid glue. Hello, Becky, thanks for joining. Okay, mm then. Hello, Diane, nice to meet you too. Where are you from? Or did I maybe see that already? We are from Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Um, Chris is the head of the Be Happy Stampers. So we call this place that we stamp our hive. Okay, so this is going to go somewhat cockeyed over this leaf over here. Hi, Mary. Thanks for joining. Worry not. We're just about finishing up our last of the kit. And then um, we're going to start with our alternative. Ooh. Doesn't really show this. Okay. No, I'm not frozen. Sorry. I was not moving much, so I thought I was frozen. Um, the stamping on the thank you appears to need to or maybe want to be off to the right hand side so you can't really see me here off to the right hand side because we're going to overlay the sunflower over there so um again maybe next time the forest home of the norskis um i was a cheerleader and the deforest norskis i think were in our division it is fascinating to see where all over the country and even sometimes we have friends from other countries that join us so I love to see that too okay so then we've got dimensionals on our sentiment strip <laughs> I was looking for them and they're right in front of me <laughs> okay and then It's cutting out. Oh no. So, hmm. I always hope that I'm lucky when um, Chris is gone that I don't run into technology issues. So hopefully that is not an issue for everyone. If you do have troubles, my suggestion is to close out of Facebook. Um, and reopen it. Sometimes that is all you need is just a little refresh. Um, otherwise, if you're on a computer or a tablet, um, whatever you're on, sometimes just restarting it helps. 
Now, funny thing. <laughs> Thank you, Janice from Victoria, Australia. Um, see, we've got some from all over the place. Now, this one I didn't go around the edges. Um, it's much higher contrast because it's got a lighter background and the yellow pops more. Definitely could do it if you liked how that um, little bit of definition was added, but I am opting not to this time. Okay, so then the sunflower here, you kind of just need to figure out where you want it because we are going to put dimensionals behind and they show up putting just liquid um, adhesive or then um, maybe just a little glue dot here. I'm thinking I'm going to put three dimensionals just kind of staying away from that edge. Hazel green. I don't know where that is, but if it's close to Dubuque, it's got to be on quite the edge of Wisconsin. Alrighty, here we go. Let's flip that back over. I kind of nested it here so that you, um, sorry, I had to rub my nose. I had an itch. Um, so that it kind of has the peakiness where the thank you kind of just nests in there. Put Stella on the flowers. That's a great idea. I probably will do that on this one, especially because it'll kind of mask the fact that I didn't have it perfectly centered. Um, so it'll kind of blend it out a little bit. I need to squeeze Stella, give her a little extra juice without going overboard because I have a tendency of doing that. See, there it goes. It dripped just a little bit. Better than normal though. So I'm going to put Stella on the sunflower. And then I need to add my baby bees too. Cannot forget about the baby bees. Okay, so coming together nicely, we just have the bees and then we're done. Yes, so I agree. Um, I feel like recently the kits haven't really included much for embellishments and ribbons. I know there's a lot of printed and die cut details that they have and I think that's why, um, but that has left me a little lackluster these past few kits. Okay, so baby bees are going up here and over here. Oops, I almost put my baby bee upside down. All right, that is the last of the paper pumpkin kit or cards. Let me bring them all in. Time to vote. Time to vote. Which is our favorite? Man, this is so difficult. I know what my favorite is. I'm going to wait for everyone else to cast their votes so I don't influence you while I eat my Snickers. <gasps> Chris has a stash of snacks that I steal from. <laughs> a little jolt of adrenaline. So we gotta be creative. I'm gonna come up with an alternative. All right, so anyone have any opinions on our favorite? First one, Beverly's got the vote on the first. Like them all, I know. Like the third one, love them all. The green one, leaning towards third. Okay, this is really funny. Leaning towards third, like them all, like them all, number one. Okay, so a lot of people like them all. <laughs> number one and number three are getting the most votes. Thank you, Jamie. Just got a vote for number two, which is my favorite. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, so the first one, I think the first one is pulling out with the most votes. Um... I do still just like number two the best. I love watercolor though. So that is by and large why this kit speaks so much to me. All right. Keep voting. I love it. 
Love the blackberry. I do too. It is this color combo is so gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna grab an envelope. Jamie, yay! <laughs> okay, let's see here. Woohoo! We got another one. You can feel me eating it. Oh, oh man. Yes. I'm being naughty. I think I'm going to get Taco Bell on my way home, which is like just adding insult to injury, but I am like so hungry. I ate my son's leftover spaghetti and my other son's leftover mac and cheese. That's what I ate today. Yes. So as I move into transitioning to doing um, the alternative, I'm definitely going to mandatory, absolutely mandatory. Every single one of these cards could be cut and put on a cardstock base to make twice as many gorgeous cards. So this side, if I were to cut this apart, I'd probably bring in the sunflower set and put a sunflower down here um, or even flip it. No, I, I don't think I'd flip it over because it does appear as though there's a sunflower peeking out down here. So that would just look upside down. And then this one, oh yes, definitely. There is no way I would use these as full card bases. It just makes me sad. But I think what I'm going to do for my alternative is utilize the envelope here. Oh, gorgeous. It's the same artwork from here just maybe amplified a little bit um and then they put a couple of the red pieces in here as well oh my goodness Marilyn I don't know if you are a frequent subscriber of ours or not but I do too I always I shouldn't say always I try to not always cut apart the envelopes for my alternatives but I'm a very frugal person so I catch myself doing it a lot <laughs> I guess is what I should say. Okay. I need to get some, I don't want to say inspiration because I got some inspiration, but I need to get some um, ideas together on what I all want on here. So I'm thinking I'm going to utilize this. I, it doesn't look right going down looks okay going up or sideways. I feel like sideways probably makes the most sense. Feels like it should be like mirror flipped, but obviously we can't do that. Um, I had an idea in mind. Let me see here. I... Da, 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 Okay, I wonder what color I should draw in here for the card base. Okay, so I'm, I'm between two different thoughts. I don't know if I should use the metallic lacy stuff or if I should use, um, or if I should not. And maybe I'll kind of use both. We'll see. Um, I'm going to grab my instruction sheet because I'm trying to figure out what green I should go with. It's either evening evergreen or mossy meadow. And I have a feeling with this portion, I'm going to need the mossy meadow. Let's see here. Mossy meadow is over here. Yeah, that will do it. Okay. So I am going to cut a card base. We're just going to kind of start putting the pieces together and see as we go. I really have the inkling that I'm going to end up making two alternatives here. Let's see what we do. Okay, so card base is going to be five and a half by four and a quarter. We're not making it complicated. Then I'm going to score at four and a quarter keep shifting it and two and an eighth okay 
Hmm, I almost took the wrong blade. Okay, then I'm going to score as well. I may as well just do both of them. Four and a quarter. And two and an eighth. All right, there we go. Put that behind me. I'm gonna bring in my bone folder and fold and burnish and fold back and burnish. And we're gonna do the second one right away. This is technically a fun fold. It's not too complicated by any means. Basically all I did was fold at, in half to make the seam of the card and then folded the half in half um, to make a flap. Okay, then I'm going to cut this envelope down to a mat size. So four by five and a quarter. Oh, this piece is so gorgeous. So let's see here, I'm gonna lose Four inches. Chris used to have a mini ruler here and neither of us know where it went and I'm missing it. Okay, so either I'm going to cut off a small amount of this or a decent, I'm gonna lose most of the leaf and I don't know. I think I'm gonna cut down the score line of the envelope. And then I'm gonna cut the extra off the bottom part. Okay, then I'm guessing five and a quarter is the same thing. Ooh, even a little more. So either I'm gonna cut completely the whole stem off, which might be a good thing because I need this to be vertical for what I'm going for. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. So. I'm not going to lose this portion of the card. Oh, okay, Linda, so you and I are exactly the opposites. I cannot bring myself to use pretty envelopes because unequivocally, I feel like an envelope, no matter how beautiful it is, always ends up in the trash. Now, you can fight me on that. I'm sure there are some people that keep envelopes, um, but I just, I can't let this beauty go straight to the trash. I'd rather save it and make something beautiful out of it so that it can live its better life. Okay, so the only problem with this and it's only a little bit of a problem is this is a little thinner than a piece of cardstock. So I don't know if I should trim it down a little bit and double mat it. I probably should. And oh, what color would I want that to be? I want it to be Rich Razzleberry or wait, Blackberry Bliss, but I think that might not look as beautiful as I think it might. Oh, just kidding, it does. <laughs> so it's two rich colors, but I kind of like it. So let's do it anyways. Okay, so now I need to recut everything. So we're gonna cut this piece to four by five and a quarter. Yeah, Blackberry Bliss. I. Don't know why I get them mixed up, but I always do. Okay, so now again, I need to figure out where I want to cut this extra quarter inch from, because now we need it to be five by four and a quarter. And I really like how it's spaced, so I'm gonna split the difference and cut some off the top and some off the bottom. Ok, 
Okay, so five by three and three quarters. And I think I'm gonna split the difference again because I really kind of like how it was framed and it's okay, it's not gonna make a difference. It just makes me sad. Oh boy, I measured that wrong. <laughs> Okay, and then I have a couple little frays because it is not as thick as our traditional DSP and it is definitely not as thick as our um, cardstock. So I'm gonna just trim a little of the frayed edges off. Okay, beautiful. All right, now we are going to glue this onto our mat and then glue our mat onto our card base. And I think before I do that, I'm not ready to commit to whether this is going this way or this way. Now, before I said that I didn't like how it looked draping down, but that's because I still had the stem on here and more of the leaf on here. So now I don't know because I could see having a sentiment, sentiment down there. I could see fussy cutting a sunflower. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. I just don't know what to do. All right, for a one of a kind friend is the stamp that I wanna use. I think there's enough beauty on there that I don't even want to bring a sunflower in. I don't want to further distract. Now, you're gonna have to bear with me for a minute while I go grab some supplies because <laughs> I didn't get here early enough to prep and design in my head, so I had nothing set aside coming in. I'm gonna go see if I can find a die and some ribbons and some embellishments. So, I would love for someone to tell a story in the comments or to do something to distract you. I will be back and I'm gonna challenge myself to be back in about 30 seconds. All right, you knew I was coming back with chocolate, right? <laughs> oh my goodness! I am so excited for you, Diane. Congratulations! Oh my goodness, first time great grandma. That is amazing. I love it. Aww. Hmm. Agreed. They will miss the ball. Mmm. <laughs> Do on Valentine's Day. That is exciting.
So for those of you that do not know, I have two kiddos. I have two boys. I kind of started about talking about them because um, back to school is happening. And my son's back to school orientation was tonight. Um, I have a two-year-old and a four-year-old. So they keep me busy. Okay. So I grabbed the layering circle framelits dies, which are fine. But I like the stitched look to the picture of this dies. So I think I'm going to use them instead. Just deciding what size I want. Hmm. The little one almost seems too little. The big one almost seems too big. I think I'm going to go with the big one. Kalamazoo, Michigan starts Monday. That is when my son starts as well. And one of our local Catholic schools started this week. No, not Monday. Wednesday. They started yesterday. So, tis the season. So, Linda, funny story. Um... In middle school, my best friend's name was Stephanie, and her dad would always joke and say, Stephanie Sue from Kalamazoo. I didn't realize Kalamazoo was a real place. Um, I learned this later in life, but I was like, oh my gosh. So every time I hear Kalamazoo, um, ooh, I like that. Big one in Blackberry and little one in white with the sentiment. Hmm. Well, isn't that an idea? Oopsies, 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 oopsies. I just dropped my magnetic plate. All right, so I'm thinking an adaptation on that idea. So let's get a scrap of Blackberry out. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Hmm. Okay, so. Kalamazoo area. That is so cool. What a name. What a name. All right, so I'm just gonna snip some scraps here. And then we're gonna shimmy them to where they need to be. I'm gonna have quite the mess on my hands when I'm done here. All right, so now I need my plate. We're back through for good measure. Okay. Handle is loose here. Ooh, -hoo. just got that bad boy on. South of the zoo. See, it is a small, small world. That is truly um, one of the things that I love most about the stamping community is getting connected with fabulous ladies all over the country um, and getting to connect with you virtually or even um, sometimes in person. Chris is, um, Chris holds a couple events here at the Hive and sometimes like we're about to head on a bus trip to Indianapolis for on stage in November. Cannot wait for that. 
Um, so if you are on the bus, I can't wait to see you. If you um, don't know what I'm talking about and want to learn more about it, um, please, please let us know. Okay, so we got this, and I'm thinking something like this. And then this one being dimensionalized. But I do like the idea of them layering as well. So we'll explore both of the ideas. Okay, so let's go ahead. Where did I put my stamp? You guys, I do this all the time. Okay, here, my block. You guys are probably like shouting at the at the computer like it's right in front of you okay and blackberry bliss looking forward to on stage yay i had so much fun in um 2019 november we went to Lansing, Michigan for on stage. Then um, the pandemic hit and it was all halted for a while, but now they're bringing it back and I'm so excited. That was literally one of my favorite times was hanging out with you all, all you guys um, on the bus trip to Lansing. So I can't wait to do it again in Indy. All right. Let's get that cleaned up because I've got inky fingers now. Alrighty, so. There is that. All right, so now we need, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna cut one of these bigger ones. Yay, Karen, you're coming with two. I'm so excited. All right, I'm gonna cut one of the bigger ones too, just so we can see what it looks like. Um, no matter what we choose, it'll be nice to have the option and see the different options. Georgia, wow. Okay, so why are we stuck here? Oh my goodness, well, something was in the way. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do another alternative with the gold honeycombs. It absolutely could look great behind the sentiment on this one. Um, but I've got something cooking in mind for that. So we'll see. We'll see if I'm ambitious when I get done with this. All right, so here we have this, and then... So either off like this. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. This looks beautiful. I like it. But I'm going to do it like this, which... I didn't like as much with the smaller one. I don't know why, <laughs> just because I didn't. Okay, so I'm gonna start gluing some things down so they stop shifting on me. Okay. Yes, I agree. I think a piece of it behind the sentiment would look very cute. Um. Okay, so that is pretty straight. So then I'm going to glue this one down. There-ish, that's gonna go there-ish. And then I think I wanna put some ribbon 
It is Blackberry Bliss. I think I said Rich Razzleberry, which is wrong. <laughs> I think I like the, oh man, they're both really nice. I think I like the gold one better. Actually, I like how they both look, but I think the gold one's gonna be easier to work with behind the um, small sentiment that we have there. So I'm gonna put that back together and grab under okay that little piece is not big enough and then I think I'm just gonna go like this okay so I'm going to put a piece of tear and tape behind absolutely gonna pop this one up especially with the ribbon behind um it's definitely not going to even be able to lay flat if I wanted it to Okay, so for a one-of-a-kind friend, I'm going to have a small little jut hanging out there. I'm going to do a piece like that. I did not place that tear and tape very well. Wow, I'm paying for it now, that's for sure. More tear and tape. I was not able to get that to lay how I wanted it, so. Okay, let's try again. Kinda want to be down there, up there, down there, and then back up there. Okay, and I did a weird little twisty down there so that it went the way that I wanted it to, but it ended up going the way I wanted it to, so I'm fine with it. And then I'm gonna cut that off at a diagonal. And cut this one off at a diagonal. Put some dimensionals behind it. I'm also going to do what Chris calls finishing the tear and tape sandwich just by putting this piece of tear and tape behind and not peeling off the back. Dimensionals. I guess we can do one more for good measure. Okay. Oh, I love it. So much. I love it so much. Okay, for a one of a kind friend. Now, I want some embellishment. What embellishment? I don't really know. And I also want to put some Stella on the little flower buds. Okay. So pretty. So pretty. So the beauty of this is so far I have used just the envelopes, brass butterflies. Oh my God. Absolutely. So far I have just used, um, Ooh, look at the flower adhesive back trinkets. Those are cute. So I think I'm in the wrong bucket. Um, just the envelopes. So that means from this card kit, you can make nine of these cards because there are nine envelopes. So if you build up the courage to cut apart your envelopes and sacrifice them for the cause, you can make all of the cards that you made in the kit and these nine as well. And if you cut the cards from the kit in half, you can literally make 27 cards. So there's that. <laughs> All right, so let's put some brass butterflies on here. Ooh, iridescent rhinestones would be beautiful too. Oh, 
Also, I love the iridescent rhinestones. I don't get to see my gray hair. <laughs> uh, it's true. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna put, ooh, and you know what? I should have put some bees from the kit in here too, but I got too excited. It's, see, Linda, you got it. So, in an ideal world, yes, I would have thought of that before I had so many butterflies down. Mm. I think this one's going to move up there. Usually I only use three, but there were five left in the kit, so I just felt like I had to. I don't know. It looked good for both. Oh, that's brilliant, Colleen. Take this and glue it on your envelope that you actually use, the white one, and then, oh my God, that's, that's brilliant. That is brilliant. I'm going to do that. I don't have envelopes nearby, so like I'm not going to do it in this minute, but I'm going to do that. Okay, so here you have it. This is the alternative for a one-of-a-kind friend. And then I think for kicks and giggles, we're going to see what we can do with one of these bad boys. Although I agree, this would have looked cool cut up behind the sentiment as well. Um, oh, that was from the butterflies. I got a mess. My mess is encroaching on my crafting area. So let's count here. Oh my God, there's a ton of them in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight of them. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. Okay, so now what? <laughs> Alrighty. So this kit not only included some of the most beautiful um, cards that Paper Pumpkin has ever done, but it also included these freebies and two stampin' spots. So like, holy man, buckle up. That is worth it. Okay, so here we go. Now, do I have any creative juices left? That's the question. So I'm thinking we need a white mat. And I need my ruler. I'm guessing this is four by five and a quarter, but I just want to make sure. Four by five and a quarter on the nuts. So I'm going to make a super tiny mat, and it's going to be four and an eighth by five and three eighths. This is probably not paper conscientious at all, so sorry. Uh, five and three eighths. This is a much less guided idea. This is all I got. <laughs> so, let's make something cool. Oh my god. So I'm very gingerly gluing around the perimeter. Uh oh. Getting sticky. Thanks for sharing, Jennifer. Okay, so we've got a tiny mat here. Okay, so I just gotta shimmy it just a hair. Don't mind me, I gotta get it where my eyes need to see it. Okay, so let's get that stuck down. That just helps illuminate it on here. I do like it on the Mossy Meadow. Um, it just was 
too much the same with the gold. This might also look really nice on Blackberry Bliss. So we'll just have to see. Okay, here we go. Now, what are we putting on this? Any suggestions? <laughs> Let me see. Dun, 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 dun. Um, okay, so I have a couple thoughts on what would work here. Now my fingers are sticky. <laughs> That's not good. Okay, so let's see here if we've got a little bum -ba -bum, extra from the kit. Yeah, so I'm thinking it's going to have to be sunflowers, and I'm thinking it's going to have to be fussy cut. Of course, we could otherwise utilize um, the Stampin' Up! set, but I don't know where that is, so we're just not going to use that. I was wondering otherwise if there were some elements to this that I could also utilize. So let's just see what we're playing with here. So... My inspiration piece actually had this on here, which, holy Toledo, like that's a card in and of itself. The only reason I don't like to do things like this is I want to use this for the cards in the kit. So if I use this for this, then what do I put on that other card? So that's why I, when I do my alternatives, I try to shy away from things like that. Um, just to enable us to have these things for the kit. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this because there is an extra. So may as well use our extras. Oh no, I'm dropping. These baby bees are falling all over the place. And then, oh man, so pretty. Ooh, or I could use that piece. But if I'm committing to using the gold, I can't really use that all in conjunction with each other. Well, let's start stamping and see what comes together. How's that sound? Okay, just like I learned before, I want to... Uh-oh, sorry. I've got like a craftastrophe going on over here. All right, I want to stamp my sunflower. This time I am going to be smart, smarter than the instructions, and yes, absolutely. I wish I kind of had a better idea of where those sunflower dyes are in here, but I don't, so I'm just gonna try this. All right, so let's get this bad boy all inked up. Let's see if I can align it a little better this time. Let's see here. So that's this piece. Okay, and then rotate it. See, it matches up perfectly right there. And then, well, this is, again, maybe just a problem with me stamping it a little crooked, but... Yeah, maybe. Okay, anyways. Rotate that bad boy. This is... I mean, it's not horrible, but it's, it's definitely hard to stamp. Okay. So, don't get too wrapped up in the details of it not being perfectly straight, I guess, is my little warning to you unless you are a very I mean I like to consider myself a very avid stamper but it's still that was difficult all right then we need to do the center oh, there's still a little ink on there
Oopsies. Got some on the block. Okay, there we go. Now we have a sunflower. All right, there she is. Move some of this stuff out of the way. That Mr. Tyler. Hello, Hello Tyler. Are you live? I am live. Oh, sorry. No, that's fine. Say hi. Nice to meet you. Chris, yes, Chris left, but left Tyler behind. Winnie the Pooh backpack has them in it, so just take it with you and then because it's not one of the like okay. it's a fobby thing. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, guest appearance. Okay, so I'm a little worried about how overwhelming this is going to be. So let's see here. So for those of you that don't know, that was uh, Chris's boyfriend, Tyler. Okay. You guys, I'm striking out here. Dun, da, da, da. I must have parked him in. Poor guy. It's so beautiful. It's difficult for me to like commit to using it for anything. Blackberry sunflower is a good idea. I like that. Because then it would be more contrast. Hmm. Let me think here on how I could. Yeah, so I like that idea too, using some of the leaves. So maybe I'll stamp some leaves. <laughs> He's a keeper, he is. He's such a sweetheart. Love talking to him. Okay, so let's do some Mossy Meadow. Stamp a couple of these. So there aren't any leaves in the kit, but there at least is a leaf stamp that we could stamp and fussy cut. I don't know if I have the blood sugar to fussy cut today. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, geez. See? All right. Let's do this. Now, this is me getting into the uncharted territory where I was last month with the Halloween kit. The first card tonight just flew out of me. This one is most definitely challenging me. I'm not making any promises on how great this one's gonna turn out. Also have no clue. <laughs> yeah, so I actually really like that idea and I was thinking about doing that and I wonder it's probably not too late because I didn't glue any of the center down. Um, let me see here. The instruction sheet oh, is under my craftastrophe. Now, where did I see that? Oh, no, no, no. Like this. That. That is what I need to do. That is exactly what I need to do. Use that piece and then use this piece on a different card because this is overwhelming. So let's grab our paper scissors and just start splicing and dicing. Oops. <laughs> Getting a little overwhelmed here. Also, I apparently can't multitask because I <laughs> am focusing and I don't know what to say to you guys. So, let's just 
pretend like I'm being very engaging and entertaining right now when I know I'm not. Okay, see we're already off to a better start now. Okay, so cut this one, this one, this one. I wonder what Chris is up to tonight. I don't know when backstage starts or like what all the festivities are, but it's an elite group of stampers. Um, if I recall, backstage is like an invite only thing. So it's um, some of the best of the best, um, which Chris obviously rightfully has a seat at that table. Um, and they always get treated such like royalty because, I mean, they work really hard to be there. So, um, I think they're getting a sneak peek at the upcoming spring mini catalog, which is like crazy. We, we're still in summer, um, but that's exciting. And I think to some degree that's what we're getting treated to in on stage as well coming up. So... I can't wait to see it. Although I'm still like, I'm definitely a fall gal. So like I'll be living in this moment for a while yet. But for silver elite and above. Okay, see, that makes sense. Wow, so you guys are <laughs> so much more in tune to this than I am. I love, love, love what I do. Um, and I love being able to help Chris. I just wish I could be more engaged, but the boys keep me definitely busy and I'm happy to like be their mom and to like have that as my number one responsibility, but, um, I'm not as in tune as I could be. Okay. Okay. So look at that. We are already off to a better, brighter start here. Now, I'm thinking I have a sunflower. <laughs> okay. So I'm thinking a couple sunflowers. Maybe, maybe, okay, to avoid fussy cutting. Maybe I put a couple sunflowers stamped behind and then this one dimensionalized up with some fussy cut leaves out of it. And maybe it goes over here more and the sentiment falls down there. Hmm, we're getting it, we're getting it. All right, wishing you so much happiness. For a one-of-a-kind friend, but I just used that. Um, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to keep thinking while I fussy cut, because I know I'm going to need at least three of these leaves, which I don't have the patience for fussy cutting. I used to, and now I think because my life goes at a mile a minute, I just don't. <laughs> and I'm very much, like somewhat of a perfectionist so like it's very difficult for me to fussy cut and not love that like the spacing isn't great but it's okay oh goodness see <laughs> there it is um I have been around I'm 30 years old and I have been in the stamping community for at least 15 years. Um, Chris has been a demo probably for eight years now and she used to host in-home parties for years and years and years and my mom is her godmother and we would come um, and you know do the in-home party and buy the stuff for years. I mean I was in high school at least if not middle school when we started this thing. So I've 
been around the block a time or two and I am definitely from the era of before there were all these cool dyes and stuff. Man, I am like enamored by the dyes and by how intricate the dyes are becoming and how much it definitely levels up your card making game. Oh, it's just glorious. So even though I'm young, I've, um, I've been a part of it for a long, long time. All right, one down, two to go. <laughs> Oopsies. Oopsie poopsies. So, drop a comment for how long you have been stamping. I should maybe, like, look into it more because I am truly curious when... Chris, I should ask her because I'm guessing I've been to all of her stuff, like when she started having in-home parties. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely not as like avid as now. Um, I'm more engaged in the community, um, more into like learning different techniques and, and, and sharing it all. I love that Chris has welcomed me into the community to help her with this kind of stuff it is like it's you know an extra commitment but I love it so much like it's just it's led by passion so that is so cool 1995 okay so I have a similar story I um have always been a part of stamping because that's kind of what the gateway into this was but I kind of took a sidestep into more scrapbooking. I made a number of scrapbooks, but two major scrapbooks. Um, my junior prom, I made like a, no, oh no, maybe that was like a three inch scrapbook. And then my college cheerleading career was like a five inch scrapbook. I poured my heart and soul into that and I love it. I, to this day, love looking back at it. I, I was very um, engaged in cheerleading. I loved it so much. So like, it's kind of a hybrid of my two passions, bringing crafting and um, cheerleading together. And I still would make cards at that point in time, um, but I was definitely more heavily invested in scrapbooking. And we had a local scrapbooking store. It was called Scrapbook Cottage. Um, it's no longer in business. It's been out of business for a long time, actually. And um, then when Chris got more involved in stamping and we started to come to not the, like, home parties anymore, but, like, the stamping classes, where you, the card classes. Um, and then when she invited me in to do the um, marketing with her business, I really, like took off with the stamping and well, haven't turned back <laughs> clearly. Okay. So I have three leaves now. Oh, so we've got a lot, a lot, a lot of veterans with us. That is awesome. Okay. So let's see here. Let's see if three leaves is going to be enough. Cause God, God forbid I have to cut out more. Okay. So I think I'll stamp I think the sentiment's gonna go down here. I almost feel like it has to be stamped straight on. I really wish. Hello from Florida. <laughs> that was a hi and a hello mixed together. I really wish I went to cut quite so deeply over here and more space down here for the sentiment. Um, and I think I might actually cut away a little more there because I think I'm going to stamp straight on the back right here, which means I need to cut a few more of those away. All right, so here and here. And here, and here, and here. Okay, it's like surgery. All right, wishing you so much happiness. Now I think this needs to go over to this side. 
and this needs to go over here. And then I think I'll stamp a sunflower here. Make it a horizontal card. Now that's a great idea. I really like that idea except for I already have this base which I don't think could be. Could it be? Yeah, it wouldn't quite... I don't think this base, and I'm really, it doesn't matter, but I'm really uh, trying to pull together the pieces that I crazily started with. Okay, so let's stamp that there. Let's stamp a sunflower here and here-ish. We're just gonna wing it. I mean, I don't know what else to say. So I think, thanks for coming along for the ride, guys. I mean, I'm, normally I research alternative paper pumpkin ideas the days before, and then I, um, ask Chris to make sure, you know, sometimes she lends her stuff out or people are um, borrowing the stuff to help her die cut and, and get stuff ready for her classes. Um, so I like try to coordinate with her so that the materials that I think I'm going to use are around. Um, yeah, none of that happened <laughs> tonight. So... We are surely just pulling it out of thin air. Wishing you so much happiness. Okay. Now we're committed. It's happening. Also, I'm excited about this piece. I am not sticking around for a third alternative card, but this clearly can be very much a focal to another card. Um, as suggested by someone else, it could have gone behind the sentiment. Um, lots of fun things that could happen with that. Oh, yeah. So. Alrighty. Wishing you so much happiness. Now I need the sunflower. Oh, I feel crazy when I stamp. Especially like, you know, I never know. I have an audience. So oftentimes I think I just speak through my thought process. I don't know if that's what you guys want to hear. <laughs> I'm not a great storyteller. I'm not a um, person who can concentrate and stamp at the same time. So I kinda just tell you what I'm thinking as I'm doing it. <laughs> so I, I appreciate all 74 of you for sticking around and listening to what my crazy thoughts in my head have to say. Okay, so then if this goes here-ish, then I should put maybe another one right up there-ish. I like that, Deb. Stamp at second strength. So, should have done that the first time. So, part of this is definitely, like, inspiring you guys to use your kits and um, inspiring you to make alternatives. Um, and the other part of it, probably, is um, you guys can learn from my mistakes. Okay, someone just, like, some piece of someone's car <laughs> that just drove by and fell apart. I heard it fall. There's a lot going on over here. Um, so I think Deb's suggestion about the sunflower being at second strength is great. Um, it probably should have been that way for both of them, but it's not, and it's going to be fine. But, um... If you want to make this card, that suggestion is great. I think then I'm 
I don't know if the centers are going to show or not. So I guess I'm going to do them just in case they do. I think some of them are going to get covered by the leaves, but I'm not positive about that. So rather than need to come back and do it, I'm just going to do it now. So I'm going to do this one at first strength because, well, because. And this one at second strength. I agree. This sunflower stamp is beautiful. Thanks for bearing with me as I work through these like crazy challenges. I think another thing I would do differently if I were to do this again is I think I would have trimmed down the gold around the edge to make it A, a thinner border and B, a little bit more of the white showing through. Also would have been nice to show a little bit more of the... Um, Mossy Meadow, I was like drawing a blank there. Mossy Meadow around the outside. So that's a couple things I would have maybe changed. Okay, so now here, I'm gonna put this one here. It's gonna go on dimensionals and I'm gonna stick the leaves behind. Oh, I love it. I would, except for I don't think that is gonna look great down there. So we're just gonna bear with the mistake. Haven't even opened your kit yet. Well, now you know what's in store for you and you can kind of game plan on whether you want to do alternatives um, and what other stuff you kind of have in mind and have in store for this really, really pretty kit. I love it. Okay, so let's put that there. I'm thinking one leaf goes there and then two of them maybe out this side. Oh, so pretty. Also, how do I want to incorporate some ribbon here? Because I definitely do. Okay, so many possibilities. It kind of is overwhelming sometimes. Okay. So I'm gonna put one leaf here, one leaf here, <laughs> oh, live crafting with real issues. That is the name of the game. Okay, I like this. Now. I do still want to incorporate some ribbon and I feel like I, well, I feel like I want it to be this, but it's gold and silver, which I don't think is too much of a problem, but maybe a little bit. And maybe it's okay. Wow, it's pretty. Okay, I'm gonna put Stella on this. <laughs> I'm gonna do the things I know I can do. Linen thread, that's a great idea. That's a really, really great idea. <laughs> You guys are all thinking along the same lines. Let me take a peek. Okay. So here I would have been smart and not put the adhesive on the back and this would have worked better, but we'll see. It does look fabulous without ribbon, I do agree. Um, I kinda just wanna throw this on just to see. We're all about learning through mistakes. I don't know, they're not really mistakes, but um, too heavy, I agree. I think that one is nice, but I think it would have competed a little too much. Let's see if we like this and if not, 
Well, maybe I'll rip it off. Now I'm trying to think as well. By the base of the stamped, oh, ooh. Yeah, so I'm kind of a little bit trying to like cover up this full strength one. So I might just wrap a little bit down there. I had them over there somewhere. Um, yeah, so I don't remember exactly what I was saying and that's like not abnormal these days. All right, let's put this over there. I'm gonna do just a couple more. I actually kind of like this. It's not, I don't know, not normal, which is okay. But I kind of like it. Let's try that. Crafty accidents. I love it. Oh, wow. That was a crafty accident. Okay. <laughs> Always fixable with embellishments and love. That is so true. Okay. So let's put this guy down here. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay. So now let's talk embellishments. Alrighty. I mean, truly this card maybe doesn't need it, but I love embellishments. Ladies, I have a mess on my hands. <laughs> Lordy dordy. Okay, so Chris has boxes of embellishments by catalog. The bees! Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, thanks for catching the replay, Marsha. You guys, I almost did it again. <laughs> I'm gonna put some bees on this card. I think there's one floating in this box, so let's see if I can find that one. Maybe not. That made me giggle. Uh-oh. Okay. Let's see here couple baby bees. Thank you guys so much. I'm glad that you're loving it. It is truly a collaborative effort. Um, I got here through your help, so I appreciate you. There and there-ish, maybe? I don't do well with random, so I could probably spend the next five minutes trying to figure out where I wanna put that. I'll spare you that time. All righty. Now, remember, this is a very narrow mat, so when you stick it on, gotta be very careful about where you're putting it. Okay, so I think she's stuck, and I think she's done. So, I'm gonna clean up my spot a little bit, bring all the cards back. Oh, see here, I did it. I almost lost a stamp. I'm gonna bring all the cards back in and you guys, ooh, so we like the two different, yes, gold butterflies would look great. Um, 
I will show you all of the cards and please feel free to leave some comments about what you think about them or which your favorite is or what you think you're gonna do with your kit. Um, Cause I really wanna know. So here are our two alternatives. Let's do this. This is the first alternative we did. It was very simple. We added the brass butterflies, a little bit of gold ribbon and some die cut um, circles for the sentiment. And then here's the beauty we just finished. And then of course, the beautiful cards that came with the kit. Now I'm just trying to find them because my craftastrophe is taking over. Clearly lost them. They're somewhere. Huh. Well, I'll bring them in the screen and as soon as I find them amongst the, the mess. <laughs> oh, lardy darty. Oh, here they are. Okay, so we have Wishing you so much happiness. We have for a one-of-a-kind friend and thank you. I love the two alternatives too. I'm very happy that I did them both. Um, in the beginning, I was regretting starting the second one because, I don't know, I was crashing and I had no clue where it was going to go. But... Through your help, I was able to pull together a really, really beautiful alternative card that I'm very happy with. So, pat on the back to everyone. It was a collaborative team effort for sure. <laughs> yeah, so it's a mess. There's things all over the floor. There's so many things beyond the camera that you can't see, you would laugh. But it's just, it's part of the process. You gotta stamp things and, and decide you don't like them, move them off, throw them away, save them because you swear you're gonna use them next time even though you never, ever, ever will. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my goodness, Marsha, you made 11 cards already and lots of extras to make. That is awesome. So you could make eight of these plus eight of whatever you make with the insides. You could make nine of these, and then you could make three of each of these, plus three of something with each of the backs. You could totally make so, so, so many cards with this kit. It is amazing. I'm so glad you guys like them. I am so happy with how they turned out as well. And I think I finally, maybe, made it to the bottom of my mess. So, that means we are at the end of the live and it's time to pick a winner for our Paper Pumpkin participants. So, I'm gonna bring up a random number generator. Absolutely, let's do a close up of both of the alternative cards because that's what we're here for, right? So, this is for a one-of-a-kind friend. I strategically didn't do the insides because, I don't know, I wasn't inspired. <laughs> and then here is the wishing you so much happiness. Cut out the inside of the gold lattice, well, gold honeycomb, used the extra sunflower. So now if you didn't, you know, if you did eight of these, you would have to fussy cut out the sunflower or look into the sunflower kit that Stampin' Up! Hat, um, bundle that Stampin' Up! has. I think that sunflower is a little bigger, but that would alleviate the need to fussy cut because that's, you know, extra work. But anyways, oh yeah, we need some water. I agree. Absolutely the best paper pumpkin kit they've come out with yet. Okay, so random number generator. We have one through 26. Oh, there's my boys. I was talking about them before. Zachary is four and Jacob is two. I love them. Okay, random number generator. One through 26. So, okay, that was wrong. And our winner is number two, Patricia Thomas. Patricia Thomas, congratulations. You are the winner of our Paper Pumpkin Live giveaway. 
please reach out to Chris with your address if she does not already have it. I'm trying to find a, a highlighter and I don't know if she's got one in here. Um, and we will coordinate getting a prize to you. Cute kiddos, I know. They're my favorite. Oh, that that's not very dark either. I'm struggling. All right. Patricia Thomas. Okay, so I bid you adieu for the night. Uh, thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you guys had a wonderful evening. I did. Stamping always fills my cup and having the ability to stamp with you and engage with you and then like have you help me guide my creative process is so fulfillment, fulfilling. I love it so much. So thanks for hanging out with me tonight. I hope you guys had a wonderful Paper Pumpkin Thursday and you will see me next week Thursday for Technique Thursday and Chris will be back in the house for live card making next Thursday. So have a wonderful night and a great weekend.